How are we doing, boys and girls? Um, I'm just quickly going to go through the uh, 80th anniversary range of Zippos. This is the complete 2012 collection. This is the UK edition, obviously. Um, I got this catalogue two weeks ago, still waiting for my images from Zippo. I'm going to be putting my first order in start of next week. Still got some old stock to get rid of. So, just quick overview of the history of the Zippo. There's some uh, kind of the Zippo through the ages. Sort of like the original one, the 40s model, the 50s model, the 60s model. Obviously, you can see all this with the numbers on the bottom. So, like I say, that's the inside the catalogue. But first, we have the UK Zippos. Um, there's the Queen's Diamond Jubilee one. I love it how these are UK, and nearly every single one of them is London. So we've got a range of English and Scottish Zippos, um, a couple gone missing, uh, a new one with logos, although it does look, it does look kind of familiar. Uh, <coughs> British Armed Forces, <coughs> the new map one is awful. I'm not, I'm not too keen on the new United Kingdom map. The old one looked a lot better. Um, it was kind of a polished chrome with the map engraved. That's just going to be one of these new NAF transfers on it, sort of thing. Um, they have extended the range of UK Football Club lighters. Which is going to please a lot of people. Um, and then for some reason, we have non-smoking with football and sporting and activities and tobacco tins. I guess they've got to put them somewhere. Um, just so you know, this this isn't new. This has been out for at least a year, if not two. Uh, case knives. The MPLs. We've then also got the continuation of of the timeline so like I say this is just an English section at the beginning um, I mentioned well this is the 80th anniversary model luckily I managed to get hold of number 225 I swapped, I swapped mine for another one that came into the shop and I think that's as low as I'm going to be able to get uh, kind of a 80th anniversary kind of run of the mill line uh, I have one of these in my display up the top right we're then on to your bread and butter zippos as we call them um, you've got your brush chrome, your polished chrome, your brush brass, your polished brass, you've also got the gold dust, the founders model. Uh, there is a new founders model, uh, which you can see just there. Uh, we've then got your other kind of standard lines, so you've got your satins, your street chrome, the lanyard, the framed one, the antique brass, which if you want my honest personal opinion, steer well clear of. You get any fuel on it, wipe it, you take the finish off. Uh, the the arches and the herringbone sweep not been too popular. The herringbone sweep looks beautiful. The arches is a bit hit and miss from time to time. I love iron stone. Um, they have changed the coating on these, which I'll explain in a moment to you. But we now have an exposed hinge on most of the uh, most of the powder coated zippos. Uh, we then move on to the 1940s replicas, which are on this side, and the 35 replicas. And again, um, the class in this brush chrome. Actually, no, that is a new one. They've uh, obviously phased out the Polish one that was released in the Choice Collection. There's a new one with kind of some en engraved embellishers on it. I will say one thing for those of you who may be considering getting a Zippo. Um, if you want one for a collection, not as a daily lighter that you give a lot of hammer and a lot of abuse to, steer clear of the 35 replicas. There's a reason there was a big change between the six years. This hinge... The sort of like the entire hinge is on the outside of the Zippo. Um, one of the biggest problems you've got is it's very, very small, and all that pressure is taken on such a small little riveted hinge just there. The newer Zippos, the hinge is all the way along the inside of the lighter. On this, it's tiny. It's like what one and a half centimeters long. That hinge is very, very weak, and um, it's rather embarrassing when people buy them and bring them back for a rehinge not three weeks after they bought it. Um, we've then got the the vintage, which are these on here, which are kind of a 40s, the kind of a slightly 40s style. Um, they're extremely square. Don't have the rounded tops that the standard Zippos do. Uh, these are your armor ones, one and a half times as thick as a standard base. Um, they don't cost that much more for non-engraved, non-finished ones, but for standard run-of-the-mill, a little bit heavier, a little bit harder wearing, a good one to go for, sort of thing. Uh, and as I was saying, now we're on to the matte colours. Um, just to let you know, the purple has been delisted this year. Um, and they've released a slim a slim pink matte. Now, 
they basically lasered the hinge barrel and basically they've lasered the bottom stamp so that you can identify that it's an actual Zippo. Up until this year, they still had a powder coating on the hinge. It wore off after a while, but it was just kind of a mass coating. This has now had all of it, even on the black crackle, completely removed off the hinges. Um, and they've done the same thing with the metallic ones. So the Candy Apple, your Toffee Lurid, a New Meadow, they've again been laser etched off. Uh, the Ebony is still about, the Black Ice, the Abyss, the Slim, I mean the Spectrum and the Sapphire. We then move on to the ones, <clears throat> again, the same matte Zippos with the Zippo logo on the corner. Again, the purple has gone. They've now brought out the white matte with the Zippo logo. Um, obviously, you've got your, your metallic, your coloured metallic finishes again with the Zippo logo on them. <clears throat> we then go on to the more, the more engraved styles. The Venetians are very, very, very popular lighters. The crown stamp looks spectacular. I... I love this Zippo personally. I do have one in my collection, which one of these days I will show you all. <clears throat> Your crown stamping on the top, bottoms up's quite a novel, quite a novel lighter. Um, onto your precious metal ones. Similar designs, you've got kind of, yeah, I didn't know they did, the, uh, the 41 replicas. Uh, 41 replicas in the in solid silver. You've got your standards, your brush, you've got your vintage. And they also do an 18 karat gold one. Um, ridiculously pricey. I don't even get a price from Zippo out of them. I have to approach them for a quote sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> a couple more new designs on here. Um, these are some of the armour finished ones. These are beautiful. Quite expensive though. They're classing this one as a new model. Um, looks very, very familiar though. I believe it's a rehash from about a year ago. Um, a couple of new designs down here. You kind of zip, unzipping flames, unzipping. Uh, oh, what's it called? The Ring of Fire is a beautiful, beautiful one. Um, you can see the fact that most of the chrome zippos are brass underneath, and they've made the most of this by different levels of engraving to release to reveal the brass underneath. It looks spectacular. And again, you can see here on the. Um, this is my Zippo lighter, there are others like it. Again, it's had the uh, the hinge lasered, lasered clean. Uh, a couple more Zippo logo ones. Um, this could be quite interesting, but I'm not sure if it's a plate or a printing on it. You can't really tell from that image. Uh, that's quite a nice one on the candy apple red, the kind of metallic colour. There's the stars in the background. So again, two new two new Zippo two new Zippo logo models. Um, these are quite interesting. Uh, candy apple red, it's got leaves on the back of it. You've got the meadow with the world map on it. You've got the Krulian, however you pronounce it, that's got kind of some nice patterns on it. These are all new, apparently. Um, they, they discontinued them two years ago, so they're basically just rehashing some old lines. Um, the ebony with the kind of tribal flames on it, again, that's a rehash. That was out last year. It, it might have been the choice collection for last year. Um, you still got these classic, the engine turn lines, the rubber bits on them. I was sticking with these two, they looked bloody awful in the flesh before. Okay, so we've moved on to some more of the engraved models. Um, they've kept the Twister, which is good. Twister's a very, it's a very popular model. Um, some of these on the satin chrome, they they can be a little bit hit and miss. They're basically stars and stripes. I don't know if it's supposed to be an American themed thing. That one doesn't look very nice in the flesh. That could be hit and miss. I'm not too sure what to expect. This is another rehash. I've seen this model before. I need to dig out all my old catalogues to find out when these were originally released. That looks quite naff in the book, which generally implies it may look pretty good in the flesh. Uh, we've also got this new ebony one with engraving on. Uh, there's a little bit of a Swarkozy element, lead crystal inside the middle of there. So we've got a couple more sort of like, um, I guess, religious themed and love hearts and messages sort of thing so some new ones on here there's a new slim satin again with the Swarkozy leg crystal in the middle of that one um, the star of David and we've also got this one which is kind of a cross and a crown again three Swarkozy in fact no five Swarkozy lead elements inside that as well um, the, the very American ones um, a new Statue of Liberty 
American, your right to keep and bear arms, one of dog tags, uh, the military wife's prayer, firemen, police, more police ones. These are very nice, I suppose. The one with the brass plate on is a is a beautiful model. Again, they've been out for quite a while. I mean, looking at the numbers, 208, 210, they've been kicking around for a while. Um, a couple more sort of American army and it, um, armed forces themed ones. Again, some more of them. Um, some of the new Mosey Oaks and this new camouflage one. I don't understand why they're going for this printed transfer method. We'll come on to the Realtree ones on the next page, I think it is. But why? There is the Realtree range. have such a beautiful finish on them. These are just going to be a printed transfer on a matte green Zippo. It's... I guess it looks quite novel. And then you've also got this pixelated one. I like that pixelated one. Again, I have that in my collection. Um, some new animal themes. Uh, some new wolf ones. That that lasered wolf looks pretty good. Um, kind of a cheetah sort of thing on there. That lion one looks quite nice. But again, it's a printed transfer. I mean, you can see it on this white one. I'll get it a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. Um, many of these, I can't get it any closer because of the tripod. Um, many of these have a printed stick, a printed transfer on the top of the lighter. And so I can see it here, but I don't think you'll be able to with the lighting through this camera. But it's 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 a very off, different colour. They, I don't think they look very good. Uh, a couple of new Remington ones. Now there is a new one of the real tree, the APGs. These are spectacular. They're kind of a dip coating. Um, it's a lovely kind of paint finish. Whereas these two, like the ones I mentioned on the page on the other side, it's just a printed sticker on the top of them. So they look quite nice and novel, but if you want a very good camouflage Zippo, the real trees are absolutely spectacular. Right, so we'll carry on. Um, now this I am a little bit annoyed about. Every year there is usually a new range, a new range of Mazzy, uh, Claudio Mazzi designs. Um, and there isn't this year, so we still have the same Windy Girls that's been kicking around for about three years. Although there is these three. Now these two look spectacular, um, they're on brass, they're going to be a transfer, we're going to have to pick up me at least these two if not all three of those, um, I'm going to end up buying duplicates because I quite like this, not quite steampunk but it's kind of, it's a skull, you've got some cogs and some compasses on there and then you've got a very nice sort of lady on that, I'll get that for myself and that one for Kim. Um, this is quite a new one, we've got kind of a, a a, um, a tree slash barcode model. I that caught my attention as soon as I saw it. I quite like that one. Um, we've also got these three new ones at the bottom. Quite a cool design. I really do like that one. Identity Crisis and the X-ray hand. It all comes down to if this is printed or if it's kind of if it's a printed transfer or screen printed. If that's screen printed, that will be beautiful. Um, that one will be screen printed because it's on the white and it's just one colour. That's going to be a transfer, so again, you're going to be hit and miss if it looks any good. Um, Stop War, uh, that's not a new one. That was uh, released about a year and a half ago. Uh, they came out two on their own. There was one that uh, Stop War, and the other one had got kind of a, was black with sort of a, a fist on it. Uh, the Caution Restricted Area, again, if it's not a transfer, that one could have got quite good. This toxic one I do quite like. It's probably hard to work out on here, but there is some very, very faint green sort of toxic run at the bottom and a bit of a level below. This crow with the eyeball, again, will look very good if it's not just a printed transfer. Uh, one is a razor blade. That could be engraved, but again, you can't quite tell from the image. And we also have this one with a power button, which is a stamp from the outside. So it gives a raised look on the front, so you've got quite an embossed play button on that one. Right, onto the new school selection. Uh, we've got this one which is sort of a kind of a dragon in a green light. Um, that one looks quite cool. I quite like that one. Um, these ones are on the bottom. We've got a pirate, a flaming skull, and kind of a purpley blue looking Grim Reaper. Um, based on how that one looked, because it's a printer transfer. These, again, are going to be hit and miss, but I will be getting all of these new ones in so I can have a proper look and there will be another video to follow on those. 
Um, we've now got symbols and things like that. So we've got a love heart being unzipped. We've got a slag of a woman with lipstick on just there. And another thing that I got very, very, very annoyed over. Um, usually every year they bring out ranges and sets and over past years I've made the mistake of buying um, complete sets and using them and then realising they've been delisted and they increase in value very quickly. So last year I took a bit of a gamble and I bought all 12 of the uh, of the new Zodiac, new Zodiac lighters. So when I opened the new catalogue for this year I was slightly annoyed to see that they're still about so I didn't need to rush buying them, I should have concentrated on the Linda Picken and some of the other rangers but for those of you who we would like a nice Zodiac one. They're very, very nice, intricate designs. The transfers are pretty good on these, and they're quite detailed. You do get the odd liney one, but just be very selective when you're buying them. Um, another one, kind of a bit of cleavage, uh, like a classic pinup girl sort of thing. A guy's chest, if you're into that. A couple of footbally ones down here. They've still got the uh, the, the three clover ones, and the bling is still available. Uh, you've still got the dancers and the pole dancer. Uh, then over onto the cards. Um, again, many of these have been around for a while. The bicycle playing card set's been out for a year. That's I love the Zippo. Uh, two versions, one in my one in my collection and one in my rotation that I use. Yes, I have a rotation of Zippos. Um, so we got a couple of new ones this year. Uh, Big Slick, Lucky Clover. Uh, this isn't a new model. Again, this is a rehash, but it's a very, very, very nice Zippo. Um, quite a nice engraved Ace of Spades black ice here. This could look very, very interesting. This is a very nice, also another very nice engraved <coughs> Ace of Spades Zippo. Uh, we've then got a couple of new Miller colours. Now, when the Choice Collection came out, I explained to you the new, um, they kind of, what do they call it, the new splash texture. Now, it's basically, it's it's... It looks like it's got water on it, and it feels a little bit like dried PVA glue sort of thing. So this Miller Lite's got one here. You've also got these two new beer ones. Again, it's got the kind of water texture on there. Uh, still pretty much the same Jim Beam ones, although I don't recall seeing that one before. Um, but hey, it, it might it might have been out for a while. So we've got two two new, moving on to the music ones, we've got two new Bob Marley models, um, there's two new Beatles models this year, and a new Elvis model, so those of you who like collecting your music themed ones, there's a couple of new ones for you this year, uh, new Rolling Stones one, you then got the custom imprints, there's a couple of new ones on here, um, the only problem with these is you have to have, a shop has to order 30 of each design, so these might be a little bit more difficult to come across. And there's also some cheek and chong ones, which are some cheek and chong ones at the bottom that I didn't notice actually. They look pretty cool. Um, right, some of the most popular Zippos is the Jack Daniels collection. These have been out for a while. This was out last year. They've been around for quite a while. They're a new one this year, which is on matte white with some nice bike designs on it. So those of you who like collecting all your JD stuff, there is a new one for you this year. Um, again, we're coming down to another set which I thought would probably disappear, so I went out and paid the £26, £27 for all for each of them, and I bought the uh, the Chinese symbols again, and they're still here. So they're still about. You've still got the uh, the Buddha, the Buddha on the toffee. Um, from what I've seen of this in the past, it's a large printed transfer. I've had a couple in the shop, and none of them have been to the quality I would like to buy. Um, there's a new Koi Carp one on the Cruella. Now that. That looks very good. Um, I can't wait to see that in the flesh. It could be quite an interesting one. Uh, a new a new range of ones in flames, which again, they could look quite good, but being transfers, it's going to be hit and miss. And again, this spiderweb one with a splash texture on. Again, all down to where whereabouts in the run it was printed at the start or at the end. Okay, um, got a new couple of cowboy ones on here. There's a new 100 Yes Chevrolet. I'm sure they did that as a yellow for the choice selection and a new Chevy one. Um, onto the Playboy. Again, quite popular Zippos. Um, there's a couple of new ones on here. So there's these three are quite new. These have been out for a while. It's probably one of the most popular ones. 
then moving on to the um, kind of motorsport themes, uh, Zippo Motorsport, one of a truck, and there's a new a new Ford model. Now this is the one most of you are probably going to be interested in. There is a new brass, a new brass Zippo. Um, that looks very nice. I can't wait. <clears throat> I can't wait to get one of these in there. Um, it's it, it's going to look nice. It's basically brass and red. Um, they still do the the classic scrimshaw. You've still got the floral, the floral embossed. That is a beautiful heavy lighter. It's quite pricey. It sells for about fifty pounds in the UK. But it's a beautiful, beautiful Zippo. I do, however, think it will look better if instead of being in black, it's in this same kind of red. But, but hey, uh, no new pouches this, no new belt clips or pouches this year. Uh, gift sets, nothing, nothing new in there. They're all just your bog standard gift sets, your display stands, display flames, and all your fuel and stuff. There's nothing, nothing new there. Right now we move over onto the Zippo Blue. Now we don't actually stock these in our shop we do offer them if people want to order them but we tend to <coughs> we tend to talk people out of them before that uh, there is one of the new zoo the uh, new blues which is kind of more in a traditional sort of zippo sized uh, there's a few new designs now the reason we don't do the zippo blues is when they were first released we had a lot of problems with them a flint a flint ignition on a jet flame is never never a good idea um, the beauty of a zippo is is there's no valves there's no seals there's no tanks there's nothing it's basic simple straightforward these are like all jet flame lighters um an absolute nightmare from a retailer's point of view an absolute nightmare so again a couple more of the zippo the zippo blue range um a couple of gift sets and things they haven't bought a great deal of new blues out it's kind of understandable why uh, there is however a new hand warmer um, done in the real tree, like I mentioned before, it's not the printed transfer. It would have been the dipped finish, so it's a very tough, durable finish. There's no, there's no, um, there's no printing lines on it or anything. Um, they, they say the real tree APG designs are spectacular. Uh, you've got your fire starting, fire starting kits. Um, these fire starting kits, I've never actually ordered one in, but I am gonna get myself one of those. Uh, a couple of new. Flexneck multi-purpose lighters, a few of the new small MPLs, the big OUL, the outdoor utility lighters, and we move down to the Zippo watches, which I personally think are ridiculously overpriced for what you actually get. So yeah, a couple of the Zippo, a couple of the Zippo watches if you're interested, and then the Zippo pens, not bad. Again, not too expensive, not cheap, but good quality pens. Again, not the kind of thing we do, so a couple more of the Zippo pens there for you. Some of the gift sets, pen refills and things like that. And then in the end we just come down to the stuff that's very, very only really relevant to retailers. So, like I said, this is the new Zippo 2012 80th anniversary collection. Um thank you for watching. Sorry it's been a bit of a long video. So uh any of you out there who are Zippo collectors, these have been released are now available were came in what about two weeks ago so i would put my first order of these in in the next couple of weeks and i'm just waiting for my images from zippo so i can get them up on the website so uh thank you very much for watching and uh, i shall be back with a tobacco related video very very soon so take care folks catch up with you soon goodbye